Hello there, my name is Pete. And I'm Rabia. And welcome to Anderson's TV. And this is the new show with Rabia and Pete, Danes Pete. So, but we've we been have... talking about what should we call it? Yeah, we don't have a name yet. So. No. So, but you know, maybe you guys could help us. Comment below. Something with Lego, something with bacon, something in Afro. <laughs> yeah. Who knows? Anything to do with Denmark <laughs> and Afro hair is probably <laughs> on the right tracks. Well, yeah. There we go. So, comment. Let's see what we come up with. And then, what we're going to do in these shows is we're just going to... Be guitarists. Be, be guitarists, geeks. gig out with some gear, play some amplifiers, some guitars, review some stuff, and let you guys decide whatever you think, you know. Like, mm. like normal, isn't it? Drink coffee, it play some normal. guitar. And it's good. great to be here. I really enjoy this. It is great to be here, isn't it? It's good, it's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. So, today, we have got for you the Bus DD500. Mm. Digital delay. Mm. Because we, um, you know, we both are using a different uh, pedal, which we is are. very similar to this one. Mm. But this is a, it's, it's a really well priced pedal at two hundred and forty nine pounds. We thought it could not be. You know, we were talking about earlier if this pedal was there at the time. At the time where yeah. we had picked the other pedal, would we have gone with this pedal? Um, well, we've been playing it for a bit already, and in terms of tone, it's high fidelity. It is. It's really crystal clear and lovely, and it's mm -hmm. stereo. We're running it through two Hot Rod Deluxes. Yeah, which is mic'd up left and right with mm. uh, 57 and an NTR on each, and we've got a little AB box so we can switch between the two of us here. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the, the, the pedal has been designed kind of from the ground up, as far as I can understand, and uh, the guy who's overseeing it... Yoshi was, Kagami. Exactly. Yeah. Which, I which, think that's how he says his name. Yeah, I think it is. <laughs> yeah. Yoshi. Yeah. Anyway, uh, the great Mr. Boss, the best boss man. Yeah. And he basically he designed the old uh, SDE rack models and all that mm. back back in the day. And so he's kind of overseeing all of the stuff in in you know which has gone into this. And oh, you know it's going to be good. Loads of time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in fairness, first impressions for me were like it reminds me a lot of a, of a delay pedal that I use. <laughs> and then yeah. like some of the features straight away, you've got twelve different delay machines, I like to call them, or delay types. Mm -hmm. um, and you've got basically an A and B patch on each bank, and then you've got 99 banks. So that's, well, that's 198. I've got 99 banks and a bank in one problem. <laughs> <laughs> you get 198 <laughs> patches. Uh, moving swiftly on. Uh, yeah. yeah, 198 patches, and you can control, then you've got your quick, access controls on the right hand side so you can do your time feedback the amount of delay in the mix the tone and the modulation mm. so you can add a little bit of a whirring warble sound and you can and put all a the high modes, pass or a low pass on it all the modes over here mm. really cool display 
Yeah, it's well, big. Yeah, it's, it's big. This plane, you and you could get into. You were saying you were trying to edit some stuff in it earlier, which we're going to show later in the video mm. how to edit and, and and stuff. Let me get the camera over and on the pedal. Mm. That it's you can go deeper in and edit different things that you can't do on, on other pedals uh, that are the same, which is really cool. You know, uh, you can't go deeper in. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So and it's got the looper. Yeah. It's got a tap tempo. Mm-hmm. Um, it says, was that clear? Is that controller clear? Control. control. Tap yeah. control. So, tap control. Um, uh, stop, play, record, dop, you know, and, and Boss have got their, the, um, their looper pedal. Which it's like the RC3, isn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Which, or the one that Ed Sheeran mm. uses, because that's what he used in like the 30s or the 20, whenever the first one came yeah. out. Yeah. That's basically what he loves to use. And, the, you know, that technology is in here as well. So there's loads of stuff for your money. What did you, what did you say? Um, it's got 10 seconds delay. Yeah, a whole 10 second delay time on it. That's ridiculous. It is. I could, you'd probably forget what note you played <laughs> 10 seconds later. At least I do. And then it just appears. Yeah. I forget my name in 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's how... Yeah, you can have yeah. it buffered or true bypass. Yeah, which is also great. And, and cool feature, Yeah, it runs on batteries. Yeah, that is a massive plus for me at least. You know, if, if for some reason your power supply packs in, you can shove four double A's in and you're good to go. <laughs> 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 anyway, and 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 there's a cool. Uh, I was trying earlier to to get get it to to turn on, you yeah. know, and uh, I was plugging in the power supply and I was clicking the buttons and nothing came on. But as soon as you plug an input, mm. the jack put into the input socket, it just comes powers on, up. It powers up. When you pull it out, it powers out, and that's a great feature if mm. you've got the battery. Uh, yeah, the battery. and it only draws two hundred milliamps as well, which is. That's really low. That's really low. Yeah. So, so you'd probably get a lot more out of your batteries, wouldn't you? Yeah, and you know, you can if you are running it off a you know a, a power supply or whatever, mm. then you you're not you're not gonna be short of ampage. Yeah. You? So I mean in fairness it's it's kitted out. It really is. And I mean that's something that I suppose there are pros and well, mainly pros with this product in particular, because if you are yeah. looking for a serious delay machine, yeah. delay pedal, <laughs> it's I mean, really good. It's small it's you know the the uh, the footprint of it is you know I can if you can see up here it's you know that's that's and it's also it's boss it's, you know boss, boss have been yeah. around for f ages oh yeah yeah no but as you see we've reviewed some uh, some of the Vasa Vasa craft Vasa 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 <laughs> craft pedals and you know it's funny to they feel different as well you know but they but they they've been around for ages boss and mm. I've had them from the beginning and they are just good. Good pedals, and, and also just do some good delays. Yeah, Ecoplex and the RE. Well, yeah. To and if Mr. Bossman, Mr. Bossman is yeah. overseeing all the patches, it's going to be great. There's both the digital and analog delay patches in there as well, yeah. so you, you get a, a real mix of it. I used to have the DD six and seven back yeah. in the day. I had DD threes mm. and DD fives, and you know, and they, mm. they they've always sounded great. But, you know, uh, and yeah, you can you attach uh, it's it's stereo really could, yeah. two in mm -hmm. stereo in oh, uh, and stereo out. So you yeah. can literally do, you can do one amp send and return on the left, one amp send and return on the right, and then you get full on beautiful stereo. Yeah. At yeah. the moment we're just running in straight into, because when, you know, that's, yeah. we, we're not gonna, we're just gonna listen to the sounds. Anyway, talk about listening to some sounds. Shall we listen to some sounds? Let's listen to so some we, sounds. Uh, so what we start with, just a standard delay kind of thing. Yeah. So go. you press you press the both the banks to uh, to bank this A and B yeah. bank down yeah. the other one to bank up again yeah A and, and then B like A and B B and C to bank up I guess bank 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 cool. uh, yeah okay so yeah well uh, start out with your standard well it's set it even says standard yeah so you got standard Taros Echo slow attack filter shimmer SFX reverse pattern dual vintage delay tape mm. analog is there anything on that side no. No, but it's worth saying that obviously a few of these delays have been sort of, I wouldn't say p patented as such, but they're, they're definitely a, a boss signature sound, like the Terra Echo yeah. was a standalone pedal that came out a couple of years ago that I reviewed actually, it was a really nice pedal, but then like Shimmer and stuff like that, and then SFX or sound effects is yeah. going to be a collection of different sounds that Boss have created. Yeah. Um, so there are some real classic Boss delay sounds in there. Well, why don't we just have a... You, you, do, I'll turn it up, you can play, and I'll just okay. literally just leave it on A here, okay. and I'll just turn this mode knob and then see what the settings are. Should we try? So that's standard. 
That's terror. Oh, that's the terror echo, yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> and a slow attack. Filter. That's cool. That's really cool. That's almost like a. I bet you, if you if you uh, edit that right, sort of go into it, you could probably get it to be like almost like a, a an auto filter or like an auto was or mm. an envelope filter type thing. <laughs> cool. Shimmer. <laughs> I didn't mean to play that. No, but it was good. It, was it had good. an octave on it, though. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, SFX. Oh, it's like a bit crushed sound. Yeah. Interesting. Right. Reverse. Reverse. Pattern. Oh, it's got that. Impressive. Yeah. This sounds great, doesn't it? It really Ju does. Jewel. Dual, classic dual delay, two at the same time. Sounds great. Nothing wrong with that. Uh, vintage digital. Vintage, vintage digital. Vintage digital. So it kind of stays clean and clear all the way through where maybe if it was a, if it was an analog it would go darker yeah, it, yeah. It, would it would deteriorate tape Now you're doing that because I like that. So if I hold down this here, yeah, hold to loop. I think it goes then into a separate mode. As oh, that's a separate mode. It's not gonna... When you hold it down, yeah. if it's anything like the other pedal we were talking about, you hold it down. It goes into looper mode, which yeah. is what's happened here. But is it still keeping the delay? Can we just hear if it's still? Yeah. yeah. So you can loop that delay ba and then basically, put delay on yeah, top of it. Yeah. If if the delay is on before you go into loop mode, it will yeah. be on in loop mode. If it's yeah. not, it won't. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's yeah, really yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so and then you've got three things here. You've got a record, play, and stop. So record, play, and stop. That's the three buttons here. Right. Anyway, let's. So if I want to go back out, I surely I just hold just it. You hold. Hold. Well, what C? I guess C or tap. It's control. It's, it, yeah. Or yeah. cancel or. Yeah. yeah. So so that's it. So let's let's just have a listen to the last one. Analog. Analog. Analog.
to like a dream, you know, when everything goes a bit... <laughs> when you hear this noise, you can turn the page. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to build a patch. Bespoke patch. Pa Pete. Pete's patch. From scratch. From scratch. <laughs> As I said before, uh, at the beginning of this video, I love how much you can edit on this pedal itself. Mm. It's very in-depth. Um, some may say <laughs> too far, um, but I think that's good, especially if you're a bit of a geek like I am. Geek. So, what sound do you want to start with? What well, kind of delay? A nice stereo delay. Now we've got two okay. lovely Fender Hot Rod Deluxe amps okay. in here. So well, I'm going to go nice with... to, uh, for people to hear. Yeah, dual delay. Dual Hopefully, delay. you can see on the close-up cam how everything I'm going to do now will you'll be able to see on this mm. LCD LCD display, which is nice. It is nice, and it's really straightforward to edit a patch, hit edit, and then. You can scroll using the up and down arrows, and then when you want to change the value of that parameter, you use the time slash value knob. Easy. And then to save, or to go back, well you hit exit to go back, and then to, to save, you put, press both at the same time, and then it'll give you an op option to name it, press it again, it's saved. It's that simple. Simple. It's that simple. Right, so I'm going to go in and edit. Let's, okay. hear, let's hear the start off. So if oh, Pete, nice Pete, Pete's going to play and I'm going to mess around, you're going to be able to see everything I can do everything. to this patch through this monitor. So. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Here we go. So hopefully you saw oh, yes. that was really nice, yeah, man. By that the way, that was really nice. Really nice. Go any further in this video without <laughs> saying that. But that lovely. It's a nice delay. We made it basically made it so it was just a nice dual delay that was just jumping from left to right. Yeah. So listen in uh, maybe headphones. Yeah, if you've got headphones. Yeah. yeah listen to headphones or speakers. Mm. Probably an iPad or uh, an iPhone is not going to do that stereo yeah. justice. <laughs> no. Hello. You can't hear stereo. Where's so. the stereo image? <laughs> <laughs> stereo mode. Yeah. Yeah, that's really cool, isn't it? So yeah. anyway, you know, this pedal I think is really, really good contender to other pedals out there if you want a delayed workstation. Yeah, I There's mean... There's nothing wrong with that pedal at all, is there? No, not, not, in, not in the sli you know. slightest. It does... You might, you need, you probably need a little bit of patience 
editing, you, you know, you can, which, you know, you were just doing that. It takes a little bit of time. I think. But once you learn it, you know. Yeah, I think in the menu for editing stuff, there is so much. And I think that can be whittled down to a fewer controls. Yeah. However, some people like lots of options and other people don't. They like things to be taken care of themselves. Yeah. I'm kind of in the middle. I like there to be enough yeah. options that drastically change the sound however I want, but not too much that each one has like subheadings, and then that way I get lost. And I'm I get lost completely. I just want to click it and it sounds good. Exactly. But that's <laughs> Luckily, there is, there's two, 200 presets in there that sound great anyway, yeah. and all the quick edit controls allow you to Easy, quickly then, sort them out. And if you just edit a little bit and then save it, mm. that's really cool, isn't it? And you, you know, you've got all of these old, again, as we said, you've got, you know, it's, it, it has got heritage really, hasn't it? Mm. Well, yeah, because, you know, you, Boss, like I say, they've been going for so long, and people have been, they're tried and tested. That's yeah, what I'm trying to say. Tested. You can't mess <laughs> with the best. And of course, we've got to say, it's MIDI. Yeah, it's MIDI you as well. You can control it via MIDI. By your, yeah, by your yeah. uh, boards that can, mm. you know, you can control that with yep, MIDI the boards. the Boss ESA apparently exactly. is the ES... prepared for this. Exactly, yeah. or the ES5, the yeah. little one, yeah, which, yeah, yeah. Uh, which also is great and easy peasy to... To Lemon. use these when clever, you just hooked them up, done. Mm. You know. Now it's worth mentioning that I'm a proud Strymon user, and I use the Strymon timeline. Yeah. And when I saw this pedal, that's the other pedal we mentioned, and I was saying, wow, you know, it's real similar. You know, they're, they're definitely. I would imagine it won't be too long before we see, you know, DD500 versus Strymon timeline kind of stuff yeah. on the internet. Oh, maybe. Yeah. We need to do that. We haven't got one here today, but no. you know maybe we can do a comparison test between the two. But I, I would say, I would go as far as to say I am a proud user of Strymon and yeah. I do love their products. Yeah. However, not so am I. When it gets to oh yeah, you use Strymon. No, I as use well. it as well. The thing is, this is this is about 150 pounds cheaper than the Strymon timeline. Exactly. But the thing is, like when you want a, an incredibly uh, moldable or sculptable or whatever that word is you want to yeah. use, yeah. customizable. Delay pedal that does loads of stuff. Yeah. For 250 I mean, quid, I mean. But it's that thing where it's kind of like, well, it swings and roundabouts. I mean, yeah. they, you know, they both sound fantastic. They're both incredibly customizable. Yeah. They both have countless patches. They're both small footprint on the board. Yeah. You know, and the, you, the feature set is the same. I yeah. mean, you can do loops with both pedals. You can do. The reason we're comparing is because it's very, very similar. Yeah. But at the end of the day, if you love Boss and stick with Boss. Um, and if you like the high fidelity, stupid amounts of stuff, then go for it. This is a great pedal. Yeah, I really like that. Mm. Actually, I couldn't. You know, I, I would. I'd be completely happy with that on the board. You yeah, I mean? I mean, in fairness, if we walked into a music shop back in the day before we owned our yeah. delay pedals, yeah, yeah. and we were presented with both of them, it'd be, it'd be like, well, I'd probably go with the boss to be honest, because <laughs> you'd save some it's, money. Because it's 150 quid less. Yeah. And plus, it's something that not everybody has. You know, when you do go on, on mm. uh, they are good. You know, you go on on the on various Instagrams and social media, and mm. all you see is people. You know, like I do, look at pe pedal boards all the time. You know, you get become obsessed with all that stuff, and all of a sudden, everybody else has it. And I'm kind of the guy of like, hmm, I like to have something that maybe not everybody else has. I think what you Pete's know. trying to say is it's a way of life. It's just a disease, man. You cannot you have to <laughs> yeah. buy the next pedal. And you know what I mean? I have to have it. Why do you have to have it? You have one that does the same thing. Just because. Yeah, but it is fair to also add to that that it's good to see Boss doing a pedal like this because yeah. um, they've done plenty of stuff before in the past, but yeah. nothing quite as in-depth and as intense as this. No, this is it great. sounds that good. So I'm, I'm happy Boss has yeah. done well, that. So. Well done, Boss. Yeah. That's a great. It's a great pedal for two hundred forty nine quid. Can't go wrong. Come into the shop and check it out in uh, in Andersons, and um, I think we've covered everything. We have, haven't we? So I was Pete, and I was slash Am Rabir. <laughs> we'll see you next time on Andersons TV.